Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to do a tutorial on a uh, menu, whether it be for a wedding, bridal shower, baby shower, or just a uh, dinner party. There are intricate lace menus. So here we go. So follow me on Instagram if you haven't at pepe.designs. Please subscribe to my channel, like and share. These are the menus uh, that I was talking about earlier. This is the finished product, but I'll put um, another picture at the end of this video. As you can tell, they're beautiful lace intricate detail. All right, let's go ahead and open up Design Space. Go under Images and type in Lace. Now, I've already purchased this particular one. I did a job uh, last season for a bridal shower menu, and I've already purchased it. But you can definitely buy a lace uh, motif or download one online. Um, we're going to go ahead and remove all these sections that we don't need. I'm just looking for that top part. So I'm deleting all the other sections that I am not using at the moment. Now you can tell it's all one section. I'm going to go under the um, shapes, pick up a shape, and align it on the bottom. I do not want uh, those little holes up there. I just want that top part. So I'm going to just try to size it correctly. Okay, and make sure it's aligned correctly before you slice it, and then go ahead and select all, slice. Okay, and now we're going to remove that section. We no longer need that part. Now there's two sections here. Again, I just want the top part. The bottom part is beautiful, but it's not what I need for this project. Go ahead and get a, a, um, another square, another shape here, and just go over that section that we don't need. Select all, slice, and delete. And here's the top section that we're looking for. Go ahead and get another shape, another square, and you're going to align it exactly right underneath that lace section. And you're going to just drag it out and make sure it's centered and the size that you're looking for. Uh, this particular menu is, uh, I, be I believe, four and a half inches wide by nine inches tall in total with the lace, not the printable section. Okay, so go ahead and expand that out. And we're going to select all. Center it, and then we'll attach it. Okay, after we attach it, we're going to weld it. So now it becomes one entire piece on its own, okay? Okay, and now I'll just measure it again, four and a half by nine. You can make them any shape you want. I just found that this is the shape that I liked um, the way it looked. Okay, and I'm just going to upload my menu that I created in um, GIMP. And here's the menu. It's a JPEG. You could create it on... Um, on InDesign and Cricut, or you could do it. Uh, you could do it on another Photoshopping um, app. I just chose to do it that way. It's quicker that way. Uh, the font you don't have to play with the font as much. Okay, we're just going to align it correctly, right in the middle there, and play with the proportions until you like it. Select all. Go to align and center horizontally and we'll center everything for you and i'm just going to make that purple one white we don't need it to be purple and so this would okay now it's all cohesive i'm going to add the text here because i didn't have it on my main menu and this is just a couple's uh, initials okay lng I didn't do the, uh, the ampersand sign uh, together with the LNG just because I want it a little bit smaller. Now, if you cl click all of that and center horizontally, it does center it, but because of the little tail that the uh, ampersand sign has, it shifts a little bit. So play with your proportions and uh, get it exactly where you want it. Okay, and then you're going to select all and you're going to group it. So it's just one section there. Put it on the top. 
align it and uh, make it exactly the size you want center horizontal and there it is now if you notice these are both cut files we do not want cut so we're going to go up here and click print and that says cut and print we don't want that we just want print if you leave it at that quick it will cut it out for you so select all and weld it or attach it i'm sorry attach okay now if you notice the background here i just did this as a sample the background is all intricate there and then it'll cut out only that part okay we don't need that piece and go ahead and make it okay perfect it's exactly what i want printed click send to printer make sure you do not add a bleed and pick the printer you want to print print it on okay and click print and there's the printed item i think i need some toner but for for this purpose it's fine um, and there it is those are the guidelines that cricket is going to look at okay and just make sure you align it correctly the papers on the cutting mat i use a strong grip mat just because um it's an intricate cut and you want the adhesive to grab onto that okay make sure it uh, the material is based on what you you're looking for i have light cardstock this is i think is a 65 65 pound paper okay and now we're going to just send it to the machine i'll just speed up this process and you can tell it's intricately cut sometimes the paper does rip depending on um the issue but that's not a problem we could just push it back those are just the cut the uh the cut lines make sure that it's completely down and then you're just going to remove it sorry this is one-handed and there's the finished product sometimes there are some little intricate pieces that just did not come off on the mat so if you just get your weeding tool i use the back of the cutting mat um, to do that sorry the lighting is a little off there but you get the picture okay and just remove anything that did not come off from the original take and there you guys have it um it's a beautiful intricate menu uh you could do this with anything either lace or flowers uh, names uh, you could cut out the l the lg if you wanted just cut out the initials it makes for something extremely extremely a little bit more detailed than what you would normally get from a catering company take care guys don't forget to subscribe uh, and follow me on instagram at pepe.designs